Hello, I'm Will Vitella from avparts.com. Today, I'm going to be going over some information for some brand new product from Onkyo for 2013. Here we have the Onkyo TXNR626 surround sound receiver. Let's take a look at some of the features that we can see in the front of the receiver. Here you'll notice that we have a USB front connection that will allow you to be able to plug in a USB thumb drive with most commonly uh, used music files stored on it and be able, to, be able to play back from there. You'll also notice that it has composite audio video inputs for camcorders and game systems. Over on this side you're going to notice a brand new feature for 2013 which I think it's absolutely great which is built-in Bluetooth connectivity. Now right here on the front it has a simple pairing button that you're you're able to press it and pair it up with any smartphone uh, that is whether it's an iPhone or an Android smartphone like a Motorola or Samsung, uh, HTC and etc. Um, you'll be able to pair it up and be able to play music from that smartphone wirelessly through your Onkyo audio video receiver. The music could be from your Pandora app, Spotify, or music built into the smartphone or many other different ways. You can pair up to 10 smartphones per Onkyo AVR receiver. So that's great for different members of the family so that when they come home, they're able to instantly pair up every single time um, automatically and be able to play their favorite music through the system and be able to change the music and control it from their smartphone. Now I've been able to test out the Bluetooth connectivity on this AVR receiver and I found it to be um, very reliable and work better than I originally had expected. From my experience it tends to work 40 to 50 feet away where uh, from the AVR receiver to my smartphone. Of course, every scenario is different uh, based on your obstacles, your walls, and the way your house is built. So, uh, but it is a great improvement from the past where I've, I've been used to 10, 15 feet away. Also, with the latest uh, versions of Bluetooth, you also are able to play back higher resolution audio through the Bluetooth connection in there. So, that is a great feature to have built in at this uh, price point, which is absolutely amazing. Now let's go, go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the features in the back of the receiver. Now looking at the back of this receiver, you'll notice that it has a whole slew of connectivity in the back of it, making this a great value. First you'll notice that it has an Ethernet connection in the back of it, which serves three main purposes. Number one, it allows you to be able to update the firmware inside of the receiver and keep it current. Number two, it allows you to be able to stream today's most popular streaming applications through the receiver. Onkyo has partnered up with the best from streaming applications such as Pandora, Spotify, SiriusXM, Rhapsody, and brand new for 2013, TuneIn. TuneIn is an AM and FM streaming application that allows you to be able to stream the most common AM and FM stations as well as college radio stations and some independent in an internet uh, radio stations. Also, lastly, this Ethernet connection is also compatible with, for an extra charge, home automation control apps that run on iPad and smartphones that allows you to be able to consolidate all the remote controls, including the original remote control from this receiver and your DirecTV box, your Cablebox DVR, your Apple TV, your Blu-ray player, your television set, all down to one simple to use home automation control app running on your tablet or smartphone. You just hit one button, for example, watch TV, and, and away you go. It'll turn everything on, switch all the settings, and uh, control your channels and your volume, all with one simple control application. Definitely something to take a look at when, as you're building your home theater system. Also, if you do not have a hardwired network connection, going to where you're going to be installing this receiver, not to worry. Brand new for 2013, this particular Onkyo receiver has built-in Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, compatible with today's most popular Wi-Fi protocols, 802.11b, G, and N. Right here along the top, you're going to notice that it has a whole row of HDMI connections uh, built into this, six in fact. 
six connections, giving you plenty of connections to connect uh, an Xbox, PlayStation, Apple TV, Blu-ray player, your cable or satellite box DVR, and so forth. Any of these connections here are compatible with 4K pass-through for tomorrow's technologies, as well as 3D capability and the highest resolution, 1080p resolution that is available today. Right back here, you're going to notice that it has two HDMI outputs, which comes in very handy. Basically, consider it like having a built-in HDMI splitter. Both of these outputs show the same thing at the same time. Now, you, you could use this for different scenarios. For example, you might have a front projector and a flat panel TV in the same room. Or you might have a family room surround sound system and an outdoor television set. Or maybe a family room surround sound system with a TV in it, but then you also have a kitchen TV. So the first output can be used for the family room and the second output can be used for a secondary television set. Right back here, you're going to notice the speaker connections. This particular receiver is 7.2 channels at 95 watts of channels rated at 8 ohms which is a great receiver that can be used for most uh, applications out there. Th these particular speaker connections are bent out of plug um, connections, which I absolutely love. And I, it's my personal preference to just make it easy on the connections and, and the quality of the fit. Right here, you have an option, uh, which is called a Powered Zone 2. A Powered Zone 2 is a great feature that if in your family room you're not going to go hog wild and go 7.2, maybe you're going to do what's more commonly used uh, in today's surround sound system applications, which is either a 5.1 or a 5.2 system. And what that means is that you get three main speakers by the television set, you get two behind you, and you might have one or two powered subwoofers, base speakers basically, that sit somewhere inside the cabinet or on the floor in, in a corner. If you have that type of scenario, then it'll free up these connections here to be able to use for an additional set of speakers in another area of the house. For example, you could have a family room surround sound system and an extra pair of speakers out in the backyard by the patio cover. This receiver will allow you to be able to play the same thing at the same time or two different things at the same time. For example, somebody could be watching TV inside the house while you're listening to Pandora internet music out in the backyard. This also has two independent volume controls built in. So the family room could be at a certain volume level while the backyard is being cranked up and, and barbecuing and having a party. Right back here, you're going to notice that it also has what we call Zone 2 Pre-Out. The Zone 2 Pre-Out gives you the capability of adding an additional set of speakers uh, to the AVR receiver. This merely connects to a secondary amplifier which the speakers then connect to it because let's say for example you have a backyard but you not only want to put a pair of speakers underneath the patio cover but maybe you want to put another pair by the barbecue area or by the pool. So you'll need that set of connections in order to be able to uh, grow and expand and upgrade the system. All along the side here you have are the traditional analog connections. You have a set of component inputs, which is used for older electronics. And you also have some analog inputs in here uh, uh, down along the bottom. I hope you enjoyed the information that I gave you today. Thank you very much for watching.